To remove the expansion tank, the first thing we need to do is drain the coolant. Have a look at the video uh, that I made on how to do that and how to refill. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. And don't be tempted to just uh, release a little bit of coolant out here so they're just enough to take out the the reservoir because when you're filling later on it's going to make it more difficult because what I've found is if there is a, any level of coolant uh, in the system when you start to compress pipes and put it under a significant vacuum it's really easy to start sucking it out of your vacuum tool so my advice to you would be uh, evacuate the system as much as you possibly can it's just going to make it uh, easier to fill later on uh, and then once you've done that then we can remove the intake manifold because this won't come out with the left hand pipes here in place So you'll need to remove the resonance tube in the middle and then the pipes here on the left hand side Have a look at the link in the description for the video I made on how to do that And then once you've done that it's a relatively simple process of removing the tank the two connection points here These should already have been disconnected, but if they're not Then that one there is just a single press uh, to pull that off, this one here is a double press, one on each side to remove that. You can smooth those out of the way. Down the bottom here on uh, where my hand is there is the connection point, uh, the electrical connector for the level sensor. Uh, that needs to come out you know, in this direction. You're going to press the button on the underside of it. So I'm just going to press that there now with my index finger and pull it off that way. Uh, now the other connection points we've got, there are two hoses here which are connected with clamps on the undersides of those. We're going to move the expansion tank out first before that. And also there's another clip that's similar to that but on the front here, it's stuck underneath here. It's pretty inaccessible but we'll get access to that in a moment. And the way this works is a single nut uh, on a stud that comes out from underneath here. You can feel it once we sort of get access down here. It's a, uh, an M8, so 13mm socket, just remove that. And then on the back of the, uh, the expansion tank, there are two hooks that sit on other hooks that are part of the frame. So what we're going to do to remove this now is we're going to lift it up as far as it can go, and then we're going to move it out a little bit, release it from those hooks, and then from that stud here, and then we can move it out this way and disconnect these other points. Put your hand under there and feel if it's cleared that stud, as that one has. And now, with that moved out, I can put my fingers, there's a press stud on either side of that. And pull that off. And now what I find is we've got this connection point here, this hose, which is the one that runs to the filler port at the back. Remove that uh, clamp, I've already removed that clamp, but you'll just need to compress that. The clamp for that one is one that looks like that and it's one that when you compress it together it'll hold open for you which means that you can just shove a screwdriver in it later on to close it so you can just let that sort of flop down there and remove that hose and now from here the only thing that's connecting it is this other hose here but it's right on the underside. So what I find is the best way to do is actually just lift that all the way up. Now there'll probably be a bunch of coolant flop out of here because there are multiple chambers inside the expansion tank. Um, and just coolant will come out. So you make sure everything's covered so nothing can go down the intakes or anything like that. Now we can just rotate that around and you can see that would have that clamp there on it. And once, I, once you rotate that around, we've got that clamp that would be there. That's again one of those that you can uh, just compress and it'll stay open for you. It will probably be orientated all the way around here, so you'll need to get something in from this direction, which is why we need to uh, get it all the way around like that. And then that can be pulled off. And then the expansion tank can come out. Uh, a bit of a close look at it on this side. There are the two coolant pipe connections. We've got the electrical connector there for the uh, level sensor. That's where that stud will have gone through. That stud is that one down there. The hooks are underneath here. And the hooks on the other side of the reservoir are those two big things there. If you need to remove the, the filler port here, uh, the way this fits together 
is we've got a pipe here that fits to the bottom here. So that's the first thing that will have slotted down and be fitting through there with that pipe on the bottom. It's, it's got one of these clamps on it that you'll just need to loosen and take that off and then just wiggle that free and then that will just come, uh, come off. Uh, and then we need to remove it from the housing here uh, with the hoses here that are connected to it. This one here you'll need to leave connected until, because it's going to be sitting underneath there like that. Uh, it'll need to have pulled up uh, and out before you get at it. But this one here, you can just squeeze and pull it off. And the way this thing comes out, there are uh, two tabs, one there and one there, which just clip onto little barbs on each side. So you just need to get a screwdriver in here and push that rearwards, put it this way and then on this side and pull it up and that'll just pop straight off. And then once it's up a little bit, then we can remove that last hose and this can just come straight out. All the float is, is just that little thing there. Uh, and it's the level inside this hose because this runs down to the bottom of the expansion tank that tells you the level in the reservoir. The hose here that goes to the expansion tank, there's just a single clamp here, so you'd need to disconnect that. And there's just a hard pipe that just goes on one side of the frame to the other. And then on the other side, which is underneath the, uh, the air intake and really hard to get to, there's another one of these. And then if you disconnect that, then you can remove the equivalent of that on the other side. And that's the hose that goes up into the bottom of the expansion tank. These two hoses that come out of the filler port, this front one here goes into the centre. So this um, sort of the bleeder levelling uh, line that goes to the top of the expansion tank. So the level in the hose down here can equalise. Uh, this one here comes from the outside. So if you miss going in here and goes to the outside, there's a hole there. And that just allows that to dribble down the back of the engine bay.